Alrighty, welcome people, it's Joshy J. I'm gonna go through some of the tips on designing a animated movie poster cover. So I got tasked to design a cover for a potential animated feature. Um, it's in fruition at the moment, so really exciting stuff. And I was allowed to present this to you guys. So it was in holding for a while. So I asked the dude, like, yo, can I present this? Can I can I put on my YouTube channel at least? Um, just to get some sort of movement towards it. And he was like, yeah, great idea actually. So this is a story. I won't give you the entire story, but it's a story about um, a boy from Tanzania who goes on a journey of self-discovery. And uh, he meets a whole lot of animal friends along the way. And they each have their own type of journey, their own uh their own intermingled stories between them which is super freaking cool so yeah what such a sweet gig i landed a really cool <laughs> a really cool project with this one and i really wanted to share it with you guys it was really fun to work on um at the moment i'm not sure i probably might there might be more artwork needed to be done on it but as of now it is just the character designs the main characters that you can see in the poster now and um, just got the basic plot line and just wanted to get a poster of what the, f the feel of what the film was going to feel like. So that post on the left that you see me color diving from, that was the first one I did. Uh, <laughs> I actually went, I went ahead of schedule and just designed that one almost without even getting the brief, which I highly do not recommend you guys do or anyone does. <laughs> I'll never do that again. It wasn't, it wasn't a waste of time, but I just really wanted to get my hands on it. I think I was just too keen um <clears throat> to do it um so yeah such a freaking cool project to work on um i think when this film goes live uh because it will at some point it's gonna be there's a lot of um there's a lot of moral storytelling aspects and i think it's gonna be a good one um especially coming from an african perspective i don't think there's many african movies and this film just has so much depth behind it that i think um it has so much potential to be able to touch so many people so yeah really really exciting news and i will keep to you guys up to date with um how it's going and uh whether it's it's on the move but for now we just have yeah the main characters as i said so uh yeah so I, initially i first worked out the composition of it just trying to get um <clears throat> everything in place well first of all i had to design the characters before i even put them in obviously so um yeah just did a few thumbnails to work out the composition so there wasn't much it just actually didn't take long at all um because i already had the main elements designed i just needed to put them in an environment um and obviously stylize the hell out of it which was so much fun it's like my favorite thing to do it's quite rare that um you get to do that though because mostly it's in concept art it's mostly hardcore design so getting jobs and gigs like this are so fun because you get to just uh you get to just you get to just stylize it and to be honest uh it's it's so uh beginning stages of the film that um i, I almost got free range with it i could kind of just do a lot of my own type of style which is really really cool and very very rare so I was super grateful for that and yeah I wanted to just knock it out of the park <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah established the composition um, I got some colors going I really just love bouncing light all over the place it's like my one of my favorite things to do is to just literally bounce light everywhere so there's just all colors all over the place it's like blue on the rock and there's yellow in the rock and there's like red on the skin and yellow and there's just all these different colors and really 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 freaking awesome um so yeah this was so that's what i'm doing now i'm just establishing a bit of depth on the right there you can see that stuff um the rock and the aloe type looking plant is kind of close to the front which is um which gives a sense of depth that the characters are a little bit further into the scene and then obviously we have the mountain pushing like way far back um so yeah, a lot of the elements in the scene are they they are meant to be there because they have some storytelling aspect. Um, um, and a lot when you're thinking of things such as composition, you want to think of putting um, the most important 
part of the story in the main focus. So you can see Saitoti, that's his name. Um, he's in the center there with that red cape. Uh, so he's obviously the most important. He's the main character in the story. And then you've got Gnu and Daisy there behind him. So uh, they are secondary type of characters, which is why they are slightly behind him. And they go off together. I won't I won't give the whole story, but um, yeah, they adventure together. And um, you can see in the back there, uh, the elephant also plays a major role. So yeah, super. When you get gigs like this, you kind of just want to... I mean, if you get free range, then it's such a luxury to be able to get free range on a on doing artwork and doing it for like a project that you actually believe in or with a story that you actually believe in. That's like the main thing, because um, getting a being able to work on projects and stories that you believe in is like it's almost a dream as an artist to be able to tell the stories that resonate like really really hard with you, which is which is very very cool. So. So yeah, you can just see I'm literally just refining um, the areas <laughs> that need touching up now. I wanted to actually, I might have overcooked it a little bit, but I think the water, I just wanted to add like loads of color in the water. Um, and you can see it kind of reflects the sky color. So what we have in the background is just the migration of the wildebeest. Um, I actually, so a quick tip, if you're designing, um, if you're painting, multiple like for example if you're painting leaves just create a leaf brush or if you like i wasn't going to draw every single wildebeest in the back there so i literally just um kind of designed or engineered one wildebeest and then i made a brush out of it and changed the scattering um just so i could do one paint brush stroke to create all of these different um to create like the illusion that there's a whole lot of wildebeest running there so that was really cool that's a good tip to do just make a brush out of it um and yeah i used some some photo bashing in this in this piece because a lot of it was just focusing on mood i just wanted the mood to be uh really really solid i wanted it to communicate that this was like an adventure story so that's why there was a lot of colors and all of these things going on um but in the end yeah pretty pretty stoked <laughs> with how this landed up um and yeah really excited for the story to evolve and develop into um into the story that i know that it's going to become so yeah i'll keep you guys posted and yeah <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse and um if you liked my artwork and if you like my videos then hit a subscribe and i will check you guys in the next one cheers